show you my new uh, studio studio look yeah my finger yeah uh, if you uh, keep watching the video you'll see what what happened here and I've decided to remove um, all the ads all the banner ads and crap that you can see on my website if you want to know why I'm removing the ads and uh, maybe check out my new studio check out the rest of the video roll the intro and blah blah, blah. I don't have a fucking intro I've just been to the hospital. They said I was serious. I almost lost my arm. But I think I'm going to make it through the video. I'm going to try. <coughs> so it's been a couple of weeks since I put new batteries in it. And uh, the cover, uh, the battery cover on the bottom is freaking sharp. So um, one mouse that never fails me is this one. Yeah, it's Microsoft. Oh my god. I just hooked it up and it it's working already. Wow. <laughs> your Apple Mouse. Fucking magic piece of magic fucking shit. <laughs> Hello, welcome to another video. Yes, I'm in a good mood today. When something goes wrong, especially in the morning, before I had my first cup of coffee, then... Uh, you don't want to be around me. <laughs> oh, I gotta have that coffee. God damn. Okay, guys. Time to get a little serious. Well, I'm never really serious, but uh, I actually only got... Uh, <laughs> I started writing a script yesterday. I, uh, I usually don't write scripts, and uh, I've done it a couple of times, but... Uh, I don't read from the scripts because I can't, I basically can't read from a script. It, uh, it sounds like a uh, computer generated voice from, uh, from a Commodore 64 or something like that. So uh, I can't really, maybe I just need some practice. Figure a way out to, uh, to speak normally when I'm uh, reading from a script. So uh, I wrote down two points for uh, today's video. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, I got a boo-boo. <laughs> I'm going to show you uh, show you a clip here. Uh, I started doing the recording and uh, I was turning on my Mac and uh, I sh I changed the battery for the Magic Mouse yesterday. It's a wireless mouse. It's uh, it's got two uh, AA batteries inside it and uh, apparently the two batteries uh, I put in yesterday was already dead. So. Uh, couldn't get the mouse to work and uh, I was trying to take the battery cover off it's underneath the mouse and uh, the edges on the mouse is uh, really really sharp so I managed to cut myself I'm gonna show you a little clip here but I'm probably not gonna include the audio because uh, yeah I swear a little a lot all the time Look at this. Get mouse. Damn it. It cut in deep. Now I'm gonna bleed to death and I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ah! Who gives a f So now uh, I'm using uh, my good old trusted uh, Microsoft. Microsoft mouse and it even works on a Mac. I'm just gonna load up my website so everybody can uh, See my website So uh, nobody gets confused where they are <laughs> Yeah, my new uh, studio I like to call it a studio because Basically, that's just what that's what it is uh, even though it's just a little corner uh, so but this is my dedicated area, my studio area. I got my L work light LED over here. I got a small battery powered LED here, out of frame. Got my computer here, my microphone on the st stand here. And uh, if you've seen uh, any of my previous videos, uh, I had this uh, blue cloth hanging down uh, from the wall and uh, 
I used it as a blue screen uh, a couple of times. Choppers. I'm not using the uh, dynamic uh, microphone uh, that I've been using previously. I'm using this uh, lapel mic because uh, I just want to get the audio straight in the camera and not bother with uh, too much editing. Feeling kind of lazy today, so that's just the way I decided to do it today. So now I got a f***ing long uh, cable hanging between my legs, but hey, I'm used to having long things hanging be between my legs, so no problem there. Yeah, I got the uh, the blue cloth that I had uh, hanging down from the wall. I'm gonna see if I can find a clip uh, and show you what it looks like. Basically it looked like crap, but uh, anyway, I uh, found a uh, piece of uh, MDF compressed wood board. It was pretty much the perfect size for uh, what I was uh, wanting to do with it. Didn't have to cut it up or anything. I just uh, sanded it down a little bit because it was really dirty. It was laying outside down by the basement. And uh, I uh, sprayed it with uh, some uh, spray adhesive. I actually did some ironing too yesterday. <laughs> so I had to iron it out because it was full of creases and uh, stuff. So I just stretched the uh, cloth over the uh, MDF board and it uh, came up pretty well, I think. Uh, the reason uh, I ha put it up is uh, I can use it as a green screen. I know it's not a green screen, but uh, it's a blue screen. But uh, Final Cut, uh, when I add uh, keying uh, to the video, it picks up uh, that blue color right away as a uh, blue screen. So uh, I basically don't have to do any uh, editing or tuning on the keying, so it looks pretty much perfect uh, straight. Uh, well, I don't have to do any tuning or anything to make it look uh, look okay. So that's the uh, the blue board, my uh, blue screen. Maybe you can see uh, my little uh, YouTube, uh, my white YouTube play button. <laughs> It's not a, it's not a YouTube play button. I'm not gonna lie. It's a piece of paper. Yay! This is, this was a little bit too big. I just wanted to, uh, to add some contrast to the wall, cause uh, uh, with a completely white. Uh, uh, white wall with uh, you can only see the lines of the boards. It looked really boring and uh, I needed some contrast to the wall and uh, Having something in the in the background So uh, I had the frame laying around Been laying around for a long time So basically I just uh, Printed out uh, I tried to print out the uh, <laughs> I tried to print out uh, the red uh, YouTube play button in red. Yeah, I got a, I got a. It's a pretty good laser printer, but uh, I, I've had it for several years, many years, and um, it's really great for uh, for printing text and uh, documents and stuff like that, and uh, tiny little pictures with not too much detail, but. Uh, uh, when you're printing out uh, brightly colored things, the colors just, uh, it's got uh, plenty of, uh, it's got like 30% of uh, all the different colors in it, so um, the colors isn't a problem. And uh, not the roller either, because uh, I haven't been using it too much. That might be the problem too. So yeah, so I just printed out uh, pretty much the same as this, and uh, I used a uh, exacto knife, cut it out carefully, and uh, the background uh, that's just a uh, white a white board that came with uh, came with the frame. Didn't want it to have white on white. Couldn't even see the the YouTube uh, play button. So I just took some uh, black spray paint. So I just sprayed the white cardboard that was inside the frame that came with the frame. So I think it looks pretty nice, and uh, 
the paper, the play play button is. I haven't glued it down or anything. It's just uh, holding itself in place with the. I put it in there before the paint had dried. It might fall off. As you can see from the title and the intro, if I remember to include it in the int intro, uh, I've decided to remove all the advertising uh, from my website. You can see I got some advertising up here, and I've got some advertising here, and some here, and uh, yeah, whenever you're going to. Uh, Whenever you go into uh, one of the posts on the site, you got advertising up here, advertising here, and you got one advertising here and one here. That's a lot of advertising. And uh, let me just check the the stats for the ads. My website isn't uh, super busy. Uh, I had uh, since I started the website. I started it in sometime in February. So I've had it for two and a half, two and a half months, a little less maybe. And uh, I've, um, whenever you receive, uh, well actually now I got some CPM on it too. Anyway, uh, when you receive, uh, if you signed up to follow my website, uh, you're gonna get the uh, get an email from the website whenever I upload. Uh, a new video and stuff like that so uh, inside the email uh, you're also going to be uh, seeing ads from the it's not my ads but uh, it's from the ad uh, thing that I got on my website and uh, for the two and a half months since I uh, I can't remember when I activated the advertising thing, but I've had um, 1,992 ads displayed and I got 10 cents of revenue. You have to be uh, over $50 or something, I can't remember, to get uh, to get a payout. On the average CPM it says uh, $0.05. And the revenue says uh, zero point one dollar, and that's after almost two thousand ads being uh, served. And uh, I think the the ads make the website look way too busy and uh, basically like crap. I might be adding some ads later on, some uh, Amazon affiliates or something, but uh, that's going to be uh, some ads that I pick out myself and not random ads. For the time being, removing the ads uh, completely. If I can find out where it is. There it is. So I'm going to stop the ads on my website right now. And it's gone. I'm not really making any money uh, from the ads. All the ads are gone. That looks much better. Much better. No ads. So now all the ads are gone. But if you... Uh, if you're working for a company, a uh, small business, big corporation, or if you know someone who uh, is uh, looking to to sponsor someone, maybe you could uh, mention my name and show them uh, my website. And uh, I know many of the videos, uh, not the best looking videos, professionally speaking, <laughs> and I'm not a professional. <laughs> uh, seriously, if you uh, if you're working for a company that, uh, or if you know someone who's working for a company that is uh, looking to be a sponsor for a, a pretty small YouTube channel, but uh, growing pretty fast, and uh, I think I have 120 subscribers right now. That is not a lot, and I have. Uh, I have uh, 2,358 followers on Instagram and that's growing uh, pretty well. Uh, it's growing slowly but it's uh, going up there. And uh, I was checking my uh, my Twitter uh, stats. I'm going to see if I can find it here. I only have uh, 35 followers on uh, Twitter. I really don't uh, understand um, the connection between followers and uh, analytics that uh, 
Twitter is showing. Like I said, I only have 35 followers on uh, Twitter. So basically nobody should be watching, uh, should be seeing any of my tweets. But uh, I can't, I don't know if you can, if you can read, uh, I'm going to add some screenshots so you can uh, see the, see what I'm looking at here. It basically says 28 day summary. I had uh, 122 tweets and uh, tweet impressions. That's the number of times someone has viewed my tweets. And that is uh, in the last 28 days, it's to, it says 55,000. So uh, in the last 28 days, my, view, my uh, tweets have been viewed 55,000 times. I don't know if that's good or bad, uh, but uh, considering I only have 35 followers, I actually got a new sub a new follower yesterday, I think. But considering I only have 35 followers and uh, uh, I've reached 55,000 people in uh, the last 28 days alone, I think that's pretty impressive. I don't know if if it is, but uh, uh, if you look at the numbers, then uh, that's pretty impressive to me. So I'm going to leave links to uh, uh, all my social media sites in the this video description. And I'm going to also add uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram. So I'm going to have to do some editing. Oh, I'm going to have to do some work. <sighs> I'm rambling again. Uh, this was supposed to be like a five minute video. I'm going to try and cut it down so <laughs> oh coffee so good ah band on it here and it's turning completely red <laughs> i don't know if you can see that here i think it's on too tight there you go now the blood is uh, <laughs> returned to the rest of the finger this is my daughter's uh headband and uh toilet paper so yeah, real men don't use band-aids. You just got to stop the bleeding and uh, the body is going to take care of the rest. So yeah, I'm going to leave links to Twitter, Instagram. If you're working for a company uh, or you know someone who works for a company, uh, either it uh, if it's in Norway or uh, somewhere else, and they're looking to um, to sponsor somebody, it can be with money, it can be with uh, equipment. I'm pretty happy with the camera I got right now. It's a, it's a cheap camera, but uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's my first uh, DSLR. <laughs> so, But I really like all kind of tech and gadgets and uh, motorcycles. And um, I also want to start a... Uh, I'm thinking about creating a... Uh, a tutorial playlist on my channel and doing a series on uh, on vlogging and YouTube for uh, for beginners since I'm kind of a beginner myself and uh, but I've learned a lot uh, in the past few months and I'm also planning on creating a playlist for uh, product reviews if I if someone sends me uh, products uh, even if I'm not allowed to keep the products I have to send it back I can do some uh, reviews of it I'm going to leave all the uh, my email address and uh, all that stuff. So uh, if someone wants to contact me about uh, sponsoring or uh, getting products reviewed, they can contact me on the, on the email or they can use my website too. And uh, also have a PayPal donation button here if you haven't noticed. <laughs> if you go to uh, the menu on the top, it says home. If you uh, hover the cursor over the, the home link, you can click contact. So, uh, yeah.